profit maximizing price using demand equation. So in this session, we are going to have a look at how can we calculate the optimum price or in simple layman terminologies, profit maximizing price, the price which is aiming to maximize the company's profits. So here are some of these steps which we can go through and then we are going to have a look at a short example. Right, the first step is that we have to derive the demand equation in order to find the values of A and B. Now the demand equation as you are already aware of is P equals to A minus BQ, whereas um, P is a price at the quantity Q, A is maximum price or very high price when the quantity equals to zero, and B rep represents the slope or gradient of the demand curve, which is simply a relationship between the price and the quantity demanded. Once we have derived the demand equation and we know the values of A and B, then we will equate marginal revenue and marginal cost to find the quantity. And what is this quantity? This is the optimum quantity. Okay, so please keep in mind, here we are referring to the optimum quantity to be sold, the profit maximizing quantity, you can say. Right, and then, we are going to use the last step when we will substitute the above Q into the demand equation to find profit maximizing price. And remember what is the demand equation? It is P equals to A minus B Q. Okay, so let's have a look at a short example. Market research has established demand equation of a product as follows. P equals to 25 minus 0.002 Q because in a separate session we have already learned how to calculate the A and B values. So I just focused on this part that if we are given the complete demand equation of a product, how can we make use of it to determine the optimum price and quantity actually. Okay, marginal cost of the product is $2 per unit, which is in some people call it variable cost, direct cost, whereas MR function equals to MR equals to A minus 2BQ. When this information is given, now we are required to determine the profit maximizing price of the product. Okay, so just to remind you the steps, okay, remind you the steps that we always derive the demand equation. If we don't have that demand equation already, then we calculate the B value first, then B value is substituted into the demand equation to get the value of A. So once we have this, then we move on to the second step. And then from second step, we move on to the third step. Okay, now as this question, we already have the demand equation where A value was 25 and the B value was 0 0.002. So we can simply move on to the second step of the profit maximizing price. Okay, here we go. MR equals to MC, that's the second step. Equate marginal revenue and marginal cost. Now marginal revenue is defined as A minus 2BQ and marginal cost is marginal cost, okay? So if we just substitute the numbers into this, bang the numbers into the equations, A was given 25, two as it is, B value was given 0 0.002. Okay, just I can take you back 0 0.002. You can see that here. Okay, and Q as it is equals to 2. Because if I take you back to the question, variable cost or marginal cost given was 2. So once we have this information banked into the MR equals to MC, now all we need to do is to rearrange the equation like this. 25 minus 2 times by 0, 0, 002, it becomes 0, 0.004Q equals to 2. Then we will move 25 to the other side of the equation or vice versa. We will get Q equals to 5750. And this is considered as optimum quantity or the most suitable quantity under circumstances. Now, once we have the optimum quantity or Q, 
this would be substituted into the demand equation which is p equals to a minus b q so let's insert all the variables we know already like a was given b was given and q we have just calculated so now all we need to do is a little bit of magic and adabra cadabra in our calculator and we are going to do hey presto price equals to 13.5 which is going to be our profit maximizing price so long as you remember these three basic steps it will not be too difficult at all thank you